This video goes beyond the graphical analysis of Monopoly and it tries to solve uh, the level of output, price, total revenue, total cost mathematically. So with that in mind, let's start with a inverse demand function of P equals 20 minus 2Q. So basically if you plug in quantity here, you can get your price. This is kind of looking at any point on a demand curve. So remember on a demand curve, you've got price on the vertical axis, quantity on the horizontal axis, and if you choose a price, you could determine quantity and vice versa. If you determine quantity, you could determine price. And since in this particular case, a Q is needed to determine price, that's why we call it inverse demand curve, because usually we start with P to determine Q. Okay, there's your demand curve. We have a average total cost, uh, constant average total cost of four. So now let me just review. Total revenue is P times Q. Total cost is average total cost times Q. So what we're gonna do is for profit maximization, we have to set marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. So the first thing I'm going to do is to determine my marginal revenue. And the way, in order to determine my marginal revenue with the information that I have, I have to first calculate total revenue. And you can see total revenue is P times Q. I've got P, right? This equation is price. If I multiply this equation times Q, like I'm doing here, this is the inverse demand curve. If I multiply it by Q, I will have total revenue. So now all I have to do is distribute the Q in this equation, and I have this equation. Now, this is where I take my derivative, my first derivative of the total revenue curve in order to get marginal revenue. And you could see that first, <coughs> excuse me, that first derivative comes into right here. Basically, I drop the Q, I take the two, bring it over to here, multiply it by two, I get four, I drop the exponent, this is my marginal revenue curve, marginal revenue equation. Let's do the same thing for total cost. Uh, first of all, I have to calculate total cost. Remember, total cost is average total cost times Q. Four is my average total cost, so average total costs are constant. Four times Q is total cost. I take the derivative. It's four. Now that should make sense, right? Because what is marginal cost? Marginal cost is the change in total cost when you produce one more unit. Well, since average total cost is constant, every time I produce one more unit, I'm simply adding $4 to my total cost. That's why marginal cost is $4. So I have my MR, I have my MC, I'm just gonna set them to be equal. And as you can see, I'm setting my marginal revenue equation, which is right here, to my marginal cost equation, which is right here. And I'm simply going to solve for Q. So solving for Q, I'm just going to isolate quantity. So I'm going to bring my 4Q over to one side. Uh, I'm going to subtract 4 from 20. So I get 4Q equals 16. Divide each side by 4. I get a quantity of four units. Now I have my quantity. How do I determine my price? Well, with perfect competition, I already knew my price because I knew my marginal revenue. In this case, I don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my quantity and plug it back into the demand curve to get price. So let's bring the demand curve back into here. Uh, my demand curve was P equals 20 minus 2Q. What I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute Q for 4 because that's my profit maximizing rate of output. Solve for P, I get a price of 12. Well, now I've got P, now I've got Q, I can figure out total revenue. Total revenue is $48. Now all I got to do is figure out total cost. Well, I know how much my quantity is and I know my total cost equation. My total cost equation was basically 4Q. So here's my four, plug in a, um, four units, which is right here, my total cost is 16. So profit is simply total revenue minus total cost. 
and there's my profit for a monopoly.